This is an interesting question. How much fruit are you allowed to eat each day? Fruit are you allowed to eat each day? A minimum of four a day. Well, you're allowed to eat anything you want. You're actually allowed to do anything you want, smoke cigarettes or, you know, you're, this comes with a free country. You're allowed anything you do. With. But how much you choose to, what you choose to do is that you should choose to err on the side of, you shouldn't be overeating. You should be not be overeating. And we want to eat a, a vegetable-based diet that includes a variety of foods. For maximizing your health, you want to eat flax seeds and beans and green vegetables and red vegetables and orange vegetables. And, and you, you know, you want to eat a whole assortment of different foods. Right? So we don't want to eat a fruit-based diet. Some people do advocate like a fruitarian, a fruit-based diet, where most of the calories come from fruit. I'm not advocating that because it lowers your exposure to the most powerful anti-cancer phytochemicals and it, and it makes your diet high, higher glycemic. So I recommend people make their diet higher in vegetables and use fruit as dessert or use fruit like, so you like two fruits for breakfast and one fruit for lunch, one fruit as dessert or as part of the dessert for lunch and dinner. So we say like three to five fruits a day on the average, but it's different from person to person. And if you're a, a bigger person doing a lot of exercise and, you, and maybe eight to 10 fruits would be appropriate from you, for you, if you were eating all the nuts and all the greens and all the beans and all the other foods you should be eating and you want those extra calories, if you were a person who required 3,000 or 4,000 calories a day, then it would be appropriate for you to have four to five to 10 pieces of fruit. You could have more fruit because you were eating more of everything else. And maybe the balance of fruit to, to non-fruit was about the same as a person eating three or four pieces who only needs 1,000 calories a day. Are you following that? Yeah. So I'm not restricting fruit. You can have fruit. And, and the fact that you eat fruit after a meal means the glycemic of the effect of the fruit is blunted because the, the sugar is diluted by the greens and the beans and all the other foods and nuts, the foods you ate in the meal. So the, purport, the rate of sugar entering the bloodstream is because you, you didn't have an all-fruit meal compared to natural hygiene type food combinations, like the book um, Food Combining Made Easy, or the book The Diamonds in the 1970s, wrote Fit for Life, which advocated you know, eating fruit alone. And so I'm saying the opposite is better. It's better to eat, to eat one or two pieces of fruit at the end of your vegetable-based meal, because then, of course, the glycemic effect of the whole meal gets a benefit from not just eating nothing but fruit at the meal. Did you follow that?